Hey guys, Katie here. It has been quite a while since I posted a video or been on Twitter or Instagram. So I thought today would be a good time to give you kind of a life update and a reading update and let you know what's been going on. You may or may not have seen if you follow me on Twitter that I had my gallbladder removed a couple of weeks ago. Um, it was kind of a big deal for me because I've been having a lot of stomach pain and basically getting rid of the gallbladder will hopefully fix those problems. Um, but of course it was surgery so there was some recovery time after which point I just like immediately got the flu. So I've kind of been out of it for a while and it's been really awful because I haven't been able to read either. I'm just not the kind of person who can read when she's sick, especially with the flu. I mean, I had the foggiest brain. So um, I am finally feeling back to normal enough where I feel like I can film a video and hopefully get back to reading. We'll see what happens. Um, just bear with me and uh, I miss you guys. So like hopefully maybe I'll actually see you on Twitter or something at this point. So I thought I'd talk about what I read in January since I never really did a wrap up and I don't really want to devote a whole video to it. You may remember that I posted a review last month for The Magician King by Love Grossman. I don't even know if I needed to review it, but I did it anyway. Um, I, I pretty much enjoyed that book. I had some problems with it. Uh, check out my review to hear more about that. I am definitely planning to read the next book, so um, hopefully maybe in the next couple of months here. Another book that I read last month and did kind of a review of, or at least I just made a video of, was 2 a.m. at the Cat's Pajamas by Marie Helene Bertino. I love this book so much and I highly, highly encourage you to check out the video that I made of it. I will post all these links below. Fantastic book. Very uh, character driven and uh, there's some magical realism in there too. So it was a lot of fun to read and um, I'm hoping that a lot of you will consider picking it up. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know that I also kind of went on a library spree last month. I went for a couple of specific books and I came out with a lot more. Uh, one of those was Marvel's graphic novel for Sense and Sensibility. I didn't know that my library had graphic novels. It's actually the university library here and I basically make my boyfriend get these books out for me. Uh, because their public library isn't as good, but I'm just so pleased to know that they have graphic novels because I've always wanted to read them, but I've never really wanted to invest in them. So this was the first one that I read this year. Uh, it's adapted by Nancy Butler and Sunny Lou. It was really fun. I feel like that you miss out on some things when you're watching the adaptations, and of course, you know, you could read the book, or you could read the graphic novel and then you get it all and it's like watching the movies because you know they're pretty pictures but it's also like reading the book because it's a book beautiful artwork i really enjoyed it and i definitely want to pick up more of the marvel uh, jane austen adaptations i also read persepolis book one by marjane satrapi um i have been wanting to get my hands on this for a very long time and i saw it when i was in the library and i freaked out I don't think they have book two, um, I'll definitely check, but it's definitely the kind of graphic novel that I like to own. And uh, I'll talk more about this in a video I hope to post later this week with a couple of reviews in it. Early in January or late in December, I started Hyperion by Dan Simmons. Um, if you are in booktube reading buddies on Goodreads, you may have been involved with the group read for this last year. I joined it, I didn't read the book um, because I tend to kind of read what I want to read, not what I feel obligated to read. I think that's my problem with Buddy Reads. This is science fiction and I am really enjoying it. I kind of got on a sci-fi kick after I read Ancillary Justice and I'm really excited that I took the time to get started with Hyperion. It's not done yet. It's really long. Um, if you don't know anything about it, um, I, so far, so far what I know is that it's broken up into stories of these people who are all going to Hyperion together. They basically tell their story of how they're involved with Hyperion, you know, why they were there before, what they did, you know, whatever, their defining story. So you kind of get a lot of different character stories and I am loving it. The stories are so interesting and kind of mind-blowing and they kind of ask a lot of big questions. So 
uh, loving Hyperion, but taking my time with it because it's a lot. It's a lot to take in. It's very heavy on the description and the, the tales of these people are really long. So um, I will talk more about this when I uh, finish it, hopefully in the next couple of weeks. That's about it for what I read last month. Um, I also started Among Others by Joe Walton and I haven't finished that. I only got like a chapter in but uh, still working on it. Now on to February. Well, I haven't read it all and it's almost the end of the month, but I really hope to fix that. Like I said, I wasn't feeling up to it, but I think I'm back to normal now. I feel awake in the evening, which is just incredible. I can like breathe, you know? It was really important to me to read some books for Black History Month this month, and uh, the ones that I have started but not finished uh, I have talked about before, which I know is completely obnoxious. They are Their Eyes Are Watching God by Zora Neale Hurston and Beloved by Toni Morrison. I started these in separate months and I kind of found them challenging and eventually just kind of thought, well, I want to read something happy. I'm going to put them down. I'd really like to at least finish these, if not read more books by black authors this month. I've got a lot of ideas from all the Black History Month videos uh, that Dee Dee has been putting up um, and everyone else who's involved with that. I think as a community we have a lot to think about on this topic, definitely. So um, I am going to finish these books and continue to read a lot of the suggestions that we've got from all the Black History Month videos. I definitely think it's important. I'm going to try really hard for this one. It is The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne. I'm buddy reading this with Sabrina at Stacuccino and I am so bad. I know she's already started it and I've got a little bit in but not very much. It's a quick book though, just a classic that I've always wanted to read. I'm really excited to be reading it with Sabrina. She is fantastic. I'm so excited to be able to read and film and watch videos. Oh, I have so many videos to catch up on. Um, I really missed kind of being involved and um, just generally enjoying booktube, so hopefully I'm back. We'll see what happens. Let me know what you're reading right now and if you have any recommendations. Um, I would love to hear them and I will see you guys next time. Bye!